so once this is done so we just have to now write the uh, code to connect the express application with the mongodb database so for that just go into this index.js so here we just need to simply import the dependency so just import express from express which we have just installed and similarly we just have to import the mongoose as well so just type mongoose from mongoose and similarly so we just have to import the body parser as well so just type body parser from the body parser and similarly we just have to import the dot env so now we will be creating the dot env uh, file as well so for now let me just simply import this and we just have to first of all create the dot env file so let me just click on server here and we will just create the file inside this server folder so let me just type dot env and inside this dot env so we just have to write the configuration so first of all so we will just write the port in which we will be uh, running our backend application so let me just uh, type something like a thousand and also we just have to uh, write the mongodb url so you can just give the name something like mongo url and so before uh, putting the url so we just have to connect uh, or create the mongodb database as well so for that we just have to install the mongodb compass so if you don't know how to install that so i've got separate video for that how you can install the mongodb and mongodb compass so once you do that so i will just put the link into the description so just check out on there and just install the mongodb compass and just simply open that and here you can just simply click on connect so this will connect with the mongodb database and if you just uh, click onto this here so you can just see the uh, copy connection string so just simply copy that and just go into the vs code and just open the code and just simply paste here and here so we just have to write the database name so now to create the new database so you can just simply click onto this plus sign here and you can just give the database name so we can just give something like mon and just give the collection name something like users and just click on create database so you can see the mon database has been created and with the collection users so now again go to the uh, vs code and just simply put the name of the database which is mon which we have just created from this mongodb compass so let me just minimize this and now let me just again go into this index.js so here let me just simply uh, create the instance of express application so just type const app and just type express and just give the parenthesis and similarly apply the uh, json parsing middleware so for that we can just type app.use and just type body parser dot json and again give the parenthesis and just give the semicolon and finally we can just load the environment variable from dot env file so for that we can just type dot env uh, dot config and just give the parenthesis and semicolon so this will load the configuration which we have just created in the dot env file so now we can just simply use the uh, port and mongodb url so just type const and just type port and to load the environment you can just type process dot env dot port so which is the exact name which we have given to the dot uh, env which is port and similarly we can just give the default port as well so let me just give something like 7000 and similarly so we just have to write the mongodb url as well so just type mongo url and just type process dot env dot and just type the exact name which we have given into this dot uh, env file so let me just simply copy this from here and again go into this index.js and simply paste inside here and just give the semicolon so this will load this port and mongo url so once this is done so now we will be writing the code for connecting with the mongodb database so for that we will be using the mongoose and just type dot connect and just provide the mongodb url and if the connection is successful so you can just type dot then so just give the arrow function here and simply print something like db connected successfully so just type that and also we just have to type something like app dot lesion and just provide the port number and just simply write the arrow function here and just print something like uh, server 
is running and also don't forget to put this backtick sign here so so that so this will print the value so just type running on port and just type something like the dollar and the curly braces and just type port so this will print the port on which the server is running on so now so we can just give the semicolon here and if there is any error so we can just catch it by just typing catch and just type error so, and just give the error function here and just type console dot log and just print the error so whatever error you get so just simply print that and you can just simply uh, save this so since i am using this uh, prettier formatter so so this has uh, reformatted this uh, in a beautiful looking manner so if you want to install the prettier so i have got separate video for that as well so you can just check out on the description